Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a drugstore holiday look. It's not going to be too full glam, but it is going to be more of a glam look for the holidays. So if you want to know what drugstore products I'm going to be using and how this look is going to turn out, then keep on watching. So we are going to start with primer. This is the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. I do have a full house today. My mom's here, my husband's here, my daughter's here, my cats are in the room playing. So if you hear some background noises, apologize ahead of time. So we're going to let that sit for about 30 seconds. So today is Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. It's still way earlier in the day, um, but I'm going to be filming a drugstore look that you will see today. And then tomorrow, um, on Christmas Day, I will be uploading a full glam, high-end makeup look. So stay tuned for that one. Um, all right, so our primer is set. So this is the foundation that we're going to use today. It's from Believe Beauty. It gives you a good medium coverage foundation, but it still lets your skin look like skin. It's only $5 at Dollar General. And I just love this foundation. I can't say enough things about this foundation. This is my second bottle. I went through a whole bottle already and I really like this foundation. I'm just going to use about two pumps and I'm just going to use this little paddle brush to just apply. And then I'm just going to blend this in. I'm just using like always my e.l.f. Um, Total Face Complexion Brush uh, sponge. <laughs> I just love this foundation so much like I just love how it just allows your skin to look like skin it's just it's such a good high-end foundation for such an affordable price like uh, it's just so good for concealer I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one right here it's from Milani it's the um, conceal and um, perfect long wear concealer so I'm just gonna put some of this concealer on I love this concealer it's one of my favorite drugstore concealers and when i want more of a full coverage under eye look or matte look i will go for this and then just to kind of balance things out i'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose like that and i'm gonna put a little on my chin just to kind of a little around my nose just kind of some of my forehead and that's really it because I don't want too much going on I don't have coffee today I have tea I did drink my coffee already though for today don't let me fool you so next before I powder I am going to go ahead and cream contour so I'm going to use the liquid contour from Milani. It's their Conceal and Perfect. These are a bit newer. This one is in the shade 02 Ginger. And I'm just gonna... This one I would say is not so much of a contour shade for me. This one's a bit warmer. So for the contour, I'm just kind of keeping it more in the back. Now, the, again, this is a bit warmer than what I would use for actual contour, so it is what it is. I'm just going to take whatever's left on my sponge and just kind of go over the, just to soften it up. Sorry my hair is like in this just normal bun. Uh, not, I didn't do anything fancy with my hair, but... Mama don't got time to do my hair and I gotta wash it. I gotta wash it for tomorrow, so. Before I continue, I'm gonna put on this. Uh, this is the Nubian Glow Lip Balm um, in coconut, which just looks, just looks like this. So my lips feel dry, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. I don't want too much. Just enough to give me some hydration while I'm doing my makeup. I wanted to do this step in the beginning and then I forgot. 
So when getting ready for like any type of holiday look, I don't recommend to like try anything new. I would say just stick with what you know um, because you don't want your makeup like going bad <laughs> when you're like trying to get ready to actually go somewhere. So I'm going to break that rule and I'm going to try something new. I'm actually going to try two new things today. So, um, but I'm going to try this revolution now granted I have personally nowhere to go so if my makeup looks bad I'm wiping it off and doing it again so but just stick to what you know okay try if any of these products that I'm using are gonna be new to you try them out first before strictly just using them for your makeup you know what I mean <laughs> but I'm gonna try this out it's the focus for my it's the revolution um, cream bronzer it's the ultra cream bronzer this one's in a shade light because I was scared to get anything darker than this because the shade already looked like it was gonna be a good enough shade for me but also I heard that these are kind of pigmented so so we will see I did also hear that these are like very dewy but I will be setting it and you can see I have like a little bit of a um, bronze going on due to that contour. Ooh, so this is my cheek without it, and this is my cheek with it. Wow. And I'm gonna put some more on my forehead just because I love a bronzy, like, look. And I'm not really going ham in there. Like, I'm just, like, tapping lightly and picking up product. I'm not, like, really digging in and swirling, so. But it's blending in so good. I like that. I like it a lot. So, I was kind of scared to use that product. But, yeah, even looking in the mirror, it... Like, it doesn't feel really wet and greasy and oily. It has, like, a little dew to it. But I think it looks really, really pretty. So, if you have oily skin, I would, you know, set it. But if you have dry skin I, and you just want to do, like, a very natural look, I don't even think you would have to set it a whole lot. Because um, even feeling my skin... It doesn't feel, like... It's just gonna like slide off you know so this has like a oh my god what does it smell like it almost smells like um but not as strong but it almost smells like something from physicians formula like one of their bronzers it smells really good but it's not like a in your face give you a headache type of smell <laughs> to set my under eyes i'm going to use the halo glow setting powder in light pink just for my under eyes And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to use this to very lightly set the rest of my face. This is just a hot mess. Look at this. They do have like a thing on here to close the shifter. Sometimes I forget to do that and then that happens. So, so I'm going to use a very like fluffy... Um, brush I have no idea where this is from so I'm sorry and I'm just going to set but I'm not using a fluffy brush like a big fluffy brush because I just want to keep this as light and I want to control the powder as much as possible I'm gonna get my head so before I move on, I'm going to just quickly put some moisture back in my face. So this is the Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray from, from NYX. So. Okay, so for highlighter, it was kind of debatable when I wanted to use this product because I don't want it lifting my makeup with powder, but then I was like, if I put it first and then powder my face I feel like it's going to kind of get rid of it in a way so 
This is the Spotlight Liquid Highlighter from Flower Beauty. Um, this one's in the shade Opal. Did I say that? Yeah, this one's in the shade Opal. So I'm going to take my sponge and dab into it. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> so the bronzer was okay. The highlighter, I don't recommend putting it on top of powder because it's kind of just sitting on top. I mean, it's glowy, but it's just sitting. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's just sitting on top and it's not like blending into the skin so you usually liquid highlighters are good for just going right on top of skin your cream products will melt in i just didn't know what route i wanted to do so like i said don't try anything new when you're getting ready but all right so for blush i'm going to use this one from milani it's the very amore 03 baked blush so i'm going to use the l23 blush from laurely um cosmetics and not like we need more glow but this blush will give you some some glow so you might not even want to use a highlighter when using this blush i would maybe put on the blush first and then put on highlighter because the nice thing about this blush is it does give you like a nice healthy glow now to mess up our makeup even more so I wanted to do this first but because I'm not always using this product I'm not used to doing this first but I wanted to put on the brow lift from elf this is like the Anastasia um, dupe to their brow freeze so I wanted to do this first and I totally forgot so that's okay we're gonna just do it now I recommend though to do it first because it kind of messes with your foundation if you don't. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's where I... So while that sets and dries, because you do want your brow freeze to set and dry before going in with product right away, let it set and dry first. So we are gonna go in to this palette that I've been using as a mirror. It's the Milani Ungilded Most loved mattes palette this is what the palette looks like so i'm gonna go into toast of the town and salty caramel so i'm gonna stick to these two shades up top here and just gonna do something very simple in the eye because we are gonna go in with a bold red lip so i try not to do anything too crazy Then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe. This is the Make It Big um, mascara. That's what it looks like. All right, and then I have, I always get like a huge big pack of these, Ardell Wispies. Um, this is the original Feathered Lash with Invisible Band. So they originally, originally look like these right here. Can we focus? So that's what they look like. They are longer at the end and shorter in the front. So when I, when I wear these, I normally cut these like in half or just cut the tar tail inner off. And then I will put these on the outer corner of my eye. I usually save the little part at the end though, or whatever part, whatever end I cut. Um, and then I use these as like just adjacent lashes like just in the outer just give me a little like oof you know just just a little oof i'm gonna leave my lashes dry first from the mascara before i put on those lashes so we're gonna move on to something else again i know but when you're getting ready you kind of have to bounce around a lot so that way you're not wasting time i'm gonna go in with the next liner this is the liner in hot red i'm going to use the covergirl lipstick this one's in the shade sweeten up it's in the shade 678. Since my brows are dry, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and fill them in really quick. So I'm just gonna use like hair-like strokes. The brows look pretty like lifted today 
All right, next we are going to use the Lash Glue Liner from Kiss. I love, love this Lash Glue Liner. If you are a beginner's at lashes, I'm telling you, this will be your best friend. They do have it in clear as well, so if you don't want a black one, you can get it in clear. I'm requesting that Kiss comes out with a brown one, like a true nice brown liner. That will be amazing. Um, and I'm going to do just a very, very light, thin wing. And I do one eye at a time because you should put these on right away. You don't want the glue to dry for too long. Like The nice thing about this is you can just pop it on right away. You don't have to wait like a normal glue. that you see I don't know if you guys can tell I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line I'm gonna spray my face this is not I love revolution toasty avocado setting spray this is actually the elf stale day setting spray because the nozzle kept like clogging up on me I just poured it into a different setting spray bottle so I mentioned that before but in case you are newer this is almost gone though so kind of pound it and then that's it guys this is the final look but yeah this is today's look all drugstore hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope everyone has a great and happy holiday until next time bye